There's one sandwich that my crew loves and that is Cuban style sandwich. Usually it's done with pork roast, but today I'm making it completely different and that is by using bacon. So this is thick cut bacon. I'm gonna lay my bacon down. Now here's the thing. I don't want this bacon to be super crispy. I wanna have a texture similar to roasted pork. I'm gonna be cooking this one at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Oh. Look at that, it's looking good. Now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a few out because I can actually like that texture. <laughs> I'm gonna keep these because I also want some crispy bits and other ones just nice and soft like these. Same thing, 325 for an additional 10 minutes. All right, crispy bacon. Nice difference between color. We have a nice chewy one and a more crispy one. I'm gonna set them down on my cutting board. I'm still gonna reserve that fat. I'm gonna chop up this bacon nice and small. There we have it, fully chopped up for the bread. I'm gonna just slice them to size. I'm gonna cut out the tip, go right here in the middle, slice this one open. I was being careful too. Now, I'm gonna use a little bit of this fat in here, everybody. I'm gonna brush just a tiny bit. You know what? Now we spread some mustard, which is traditional, but if you don't enjoy mustard, everybody, don't put it. It's all good. Now we add a good amount of bacon, followed by ham, pickles, Swiss cheese, and top it up with the bun. Now that I got my sandwich ready, I'm gonna take this off. And we got a good amount of bacon fat in there, everybody. Usually, you're supposed to put butter, but why let a good thing go to waste? You know what I mean? Now, this goes back in. We got our first sandwich, second sandwich. Now back inside it goes. I'm gonna choose the toast set and it's gonna do its thing. All right, that looks amazing. Here's the deal. Here in Miami, they cut it in triangles just like this. But what I like to do is just to cut it in small bite size. Now that I sliced it, I'm gonna put it back just for an additional one minute as on toast so we can melt it even more that cheese. All right, we got our, oh yes. Nice and melty, just an additional minute was enough. Now that is our Cubano sandwich, everybody. It doesn't look any better than that. I mean, take a look at this nice, cheesy, melted, wonderful bacon and a crispy bread. Enough talking and let's eat. Whoa! What is that? Smart, that's what it is. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, oh. it's soft, but it's, it's still crunchy, or, or I should say crispy. It's got such a nice balance of flavors on it. I love the richness from this bacon. You get a little bit of greasiness from the cheese too. Balanced out by the mustard, that's a nice added flavor on this. Guys, I don't know what to say. This is one of the most perfect Cuban sandwiches I've ever had, and I live in Miami.